What's going on? What is going on? Drams on deck. And today we sipping and reviewing what I, I got a taste for something today. I want something that's high proof, something that's strong. That's just going to hit the spot. That's going to be very delicious and delightful. And I just don't know what I want just yet. I just don't know. In the high broom, we got the classic. We got the Woody Wood. I haven't even opened you yet. Oh, look at this. We got this new bird. I got this new. We got the blue bird. The red breast. Small batch cash strength. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This thing's sitting up at just under 59%. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Triple distill. You see the box here. And I've had this not too long, actually. Um, here's some of the specs on the spirit here. Uh-huh. Unmalted and malted barley, as most usual. And this is the bottle right here for it. I think this is a U.S. Uh, exclusive right here for Red Breast U.S. only. Uh, this is batch B119. And you see what time it is. Mature bourbon and all the Russell Sherry cast. Bottle number. We're going to get dive all into it. Got the Red Breast we got the small batch blue bird on deck for review. Let's go. What time it is, baby? Drams on deck. And as promised, today we got another hitter. Today we got the red breast small batch cash strength. This one again right here. This is a semi-new one to me. I just recently got into this one more recently. Uh, a friend of mine kind of introduced it to me. I've had the red breast 12 before like the regular 12 cash strength um so this is the small batch uh cash strength so this is going to be a smaller pot so to speak and this one right here is from what i heard is a american exclusive so um i guess uh, red breast is exploding over in america and so they decided to do an american exclusive just for us so this bottle uh to my understanding is only gonna is mostly only sold in the united states this small batch with the light blue I think this may be a yearly release, uh, but this is the first one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at 50, was it 58.7%? Um, as pretty much most of them, I think this uh, it's in uh, triple distilled, uh, has bourbon cast, Oloroso cast, American oak, uh, non-age stated. So um, we'll see how those how those bourbon and those uh, uh, Oloroso influences kind of marry together on this small batch high proof. And if you know my channel, I, I know I like my high proofs. I like all whiskeys, uh, whether it be Scotch, bourbon, Japanese, Irish, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm a big fan of Red Breast. I enjoy their stuff. I actually did an early review of the regular 12 cash track. I did that a few years ago. Check my catalog. You'll see that. I actually did a Red Breast 27 year, which is right above here. I, you probably can't see it outside of the camera shot, but I also did that. As, that's in my review as well. So I did a 27 and the uh, other um, 12 cash track. So. And also did a look of style, which is the Sherry uh, cast uh, mature one. So I think this should be like my fourth Red Breast review, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, looking forward to getting this one. Um, this one right here, I'll be honest with you, I got lucky on this one. Um, so I think the retail for this goes around $100. Uh, and which is surprised me because a regular 12 cash stream, I think I got it from like a Total Wines. And I, and I dropped maybe about $75, bucks, maybe somewhere around there for the uh, regular 12 cash stream. And a lot of people was uh, saying that they had to purchase this for $100, $110. And so I got it here in, in uh, Des Moines, where I'm living at right now. And I got it at my local store. And I only dropped $75 out the door, tax, everything included, $75. So I, I think this is probably more, might have been one of the best prices I've uh, heard on this bottle. Because a lot of people was complaining, some people, from earlier reviews that I've read, only about the price point, saying like, the regular 12 cash rate was $60, $70. So why is this small batch over $100? So, but nevertheless, I said five bucks out the door. That was a good price for it. So I'm glad I, I got at least the best deal on that. And uh, yeah, so as, as always, we're going we gonna to sip it. We're going to nose it. We're going to taste it. And we're going to score it. So as that being said, you can take a look. If you can pick it up, I'm going to pick up the color right here. This is a golden color. It's like an apple juice golden amber color. I really like this. Like I said, not a statement. Uh, it looks like more of like a... A young bourbon. That's you know, as far as color wise, uh, like I said, a nice golden color on this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this nose has to offer. I'm not picking up nothing, you know, overly um, 
complex or, you know, just smells like some oak to me. Just a little bit of tannin, some oak. That's about it. It's a little bit of uh, fruit, but not much. So I'm nothing, you know, so this, to be honest with you, at least on my nose, I'm not picking up nothing to shout out about. <sighs> yeah, oak. Like a light fruit color, uh, smell like maybe apple or something like that. Pear. A little bit of leather. A faint hit of tobacco on here. And that's really all I'm picking up, but uh, n nothing that uh, is going to, you know, really overly do it. So nose is really good. I really, I can nose it all day, but this one right here is nothing special about it. So anyway, that being said, let's see what this palette has to offer. Cheers. First sip, 58, almost 59%. Palette is tingly right now as it's going down. So, get that quick second. And as always, I'll like take two sips. First sip kind of opens me up. Second sip kind of saturates my palate a little bit more. So, while I'm still getting sensitized to the heat and the spirit, take one more quick sip and then I'm going to dive into these notes for you. Now, second set fam, um, you can feel the proof. I don't know if my palate's off today, but it doesn't, it's not, uh, it's, it tastes as balanced as a regular 12 cash champ to my recollection. It's been a little while since I had it, but um, I thought the fruit would be danced down on, on my palate, and it's not so. I get just a little bit of oak, like a little bit of uh, vanilla, tobacco. I don't pick up the the fruit, uh, or I would say the fruit character on here is kind of diminished on my palate. It's not it's not very distinctive. At least I'm not picking up today. Um, I definitely feel the proof, but mostly on my palate when I'm picking up, I pick up the oak, vanilla, tobacco. Those are the three things I really pick up. And I thought I would get more like from the Oloroso influence. I figured I would get more you know berries and fruits on there, but I, at least on my palate, even on the nose, I didn't really pick that up much. So as I swirl it around, I don't I don't really feel any transitions much of in it. So not not no no you know like it's not evolving at least the finish. It's kind of medium, um, but yeah, it's it's nothing uh, at least today that uh, is wowing. I think the the first time I tried it was was some months ago. Uh, I was at a friend of mine's house. I tried it, and luckily I was I tried it right after I tried the blue spot for the first time, and I was like, man. The Blue Spot got this beat. Um, yeah, that's another Irish whiskey, if you don't know. In the Spot family, the green, yellow, and red. So I tried the Blue Spot, and I tried this right after. I was like, this ain't on the same level. Um, so anyway, I took it home. I tried it again another day. It tastes a little bit better, but nevertheless, um, my recollection, it's not on the same level. At least from my, point, my opinion, it's not on the same level as the Blue Spot. To me, the Blue Spot is more developed. To You know, it's, you definitely pick up more um, you know, nuances for me that one day that I tried it. So, but back to this, um, I put some water in it to see if it opens up a little bit more. Um, but I, you know, I think to me, it's just not, uh, it's not, not, not that every spirit has to be fruity, but when you have, you know, the bourbon and the Oloroso influence, you think you would get some wine influence, more fruit character to it. And it's, it's kind of muted up the wine and then the, in the fruit characters on here is kind of muted a little bit for me, or it's, it's not very much in the forefront. I'll put a couple drops of water. We'll see if that opens it up a little bit for me. Uh, see if I could uh, taste anything different with or without water. Since it's high proof, you, in cash strength, you can put water in it. Um, how much is to your liking? I put, I added a decent amount, but not nothing heavy to drown it out. But I just want to see if it kind of opens it up and maybe unlocks a little bit more flavor for me. That being said, let me nose it in and take this last sip with water. the same on the nose. I'm not really picking up anything special on the nose. The oak, like I 
I said tobacco, same thing. All right, this is with water. Hmm. Everything's the same. I'm not picking. I mean, I will say that with the water, the proof is not so um, in your face. But yeah, I'm I'm not picking up an evolution, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm keeping it real. Oak, vanilla, a little bit of tobacco. When I swirl it around, there's no evolution. It's still kind of medium dry my palate. Um, yeah, if you you can tell, I'm not you know not overly impressed. Um, I did get a good deal in the buy. So a friend gave me a, a small sample, uh, like what was left in the buy, which is what I'm doing now. This is an open bottle I have behind me. I got it at a good price. Um, like I said, it's not like terrible right now, but it's just definitely not wowing me either. So I, this is probably my third time trying, well, third or fourth time trying it. And I would say at least two out of four times, I felt how I'm feeling right now. Um, there was one time I tried, I was like, okay, it tastes a little bit better that one day. But yeah, I don't know about you all, but is it certain days when y'all y'all drink or sip something, even if you're drinking the same thing, and it's like certain days it tastes off, or maybe just not quite to what you remember. Um, that Today may be that day for me. This is my first sip of the pour today, so it's not like I've been drinking different things. So, you know, usually the best, earliest pour before you start really eating is, is usually some of the, the better ones because you don't have the other ingredients from like, you know, if you just ate a burrito or something like that, then you start trying to do sip and break down the notes. Maybe not the best thing unless you just have an ultra sensitive palate. But nevertheless, for me today, uh, certain days is, is it, for certain drams is hit and miss depending upon your palate or what your, your taste buds. But today, this is more like on the miss side for me. Um, um, it's 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 okay, it's, it's good. But like I said, I've tried it a few times, so it's not just a day. In a few other days, I kind of felt the same way. So you know what I'm saying. So it, well, the smoke is fire. So I would I would I would conclude that it's okay. It definitely is not as good as the original uh, Red Breast. Um, in my opinion, uh, it's not as good as the blue spot, in my opinion. But the one day I tried it, I did like it. It wasn't bad, but, um, you know, um, I wouldn't say, you know, if I, I would say if for me, if you can get this at a, the price I got, maybe try it out. Or I mean, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to see this at a pour. So if you got a friend or something like that, you can try a pour of it, maybe. Um, or if you can get it, like I said, for less than a hundred dollars, like I got it. Well, well, I got well under a hundred dollars. I got 70 something bucks. So I think that was a cool price. Um, uh, maybe a different day it may taste better for me, but today it's just hey, it's okay. So anyway, uh one more quick sip and I'm gonna score it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's just okay. Bad score is one of a ten, ten being the best for me, Dreams on deck. For today, I get six and a half out of the ten. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, I don't love it. It's, it's not bad the time I had it, but the damn show, it doesn't wow me. So um, it is what it is. But anyway, um, I was happy to get it as a gift. Like, what was left of it? It's like, and I happened to see that my, my local store for a good price. I just snatched it up real quick. And, uh, you know. Yeah, um, I still I'm, I'll still drink it. Don't get me wrong; it's not horrible, but the damn show sure isn't just wowing me either. So for me, uh, it doesn't quite live up to the to the blue spot or the the regular uh, twelve cash strain. Um, so if anyway, uh, for me, and, th and this is the the batch on here. I think this might be a yearly release, but this ABV is fifty seven fifty eight point seven percent. It's batch one number nineteen, and like I said, six and a half out of a ten. And then if, if you paying over a hundred dollars, I'll drop a two or six out of a 10. If you're paying over a hundred dollars for it. Um, so we around six out of a 10, um, you know, not, not, well, I wouldn't say not the greatest score, um, but it's not trash by no means. So I don't want to make it seem like it's not trash, but it's, it's definitely not on the level of other rep breasts that I've had. Let's put it that way. And this bottle's been open for a while. So it's not even like I'm drinking a neck pour. So usually as you get further into the bottle, way past the shoulders, the best, uh, shots and pours. So nevertheless, uh, six out of a six and a half out of a ten for me on taste, and then if you say if, if uh, you know, I I just think that if they if you're paying over a hundred dollars, I'll have to knock it to a six out of a ten for me. 
uh, for the Red Breast Small Batch. So this is probably my least favorite red breast that I've reviewed and tried to date. So out of like four bottles, so it's not bad. But nevertheless, um, that's just my, my take on the Red Breast Small Batch Cash Strain. Um, if you had this, let me know your opinions and thoughts. Yours may differ from mine. Uh, so if you have had this, let me know what you think and your thoughts, your views on this one. And even if you haven't had it, let me know your opinions of other spirits, Irish or other red breast uh, uh, spirits that you might have had in the past. I just kind of want to know. I like interacting with you guys and like to know your opinions. So please be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. I appreciate it. Also, I have a cash app Patreon if you do choose support. I greatly appreciate it. I also uh, have in, in, the, in my link, I have a link for my Instagram page. So please check out my Instagram page. I have a lot of bottles in there that I have uh, some of the at the review. I also have a couple of hidden reviews in though and that as well. But uh, please stay tuned. I got more hot reviews on the way. And if you like that, please hit the like and subscribe button. Likes and subscribers are free, y'all. Till then, signing out. Drams on deck, yes, sir.